Students at Robert E. Lee High School in Baytown are mourning the death of a 16 year old classmate. Baytown police say he was killed last night in a shooting, some bullets even hitting his neighbor's apartments. Jason Miles is live from police headquarters and I know you've been talking to the victim's family. Jason. That's right. I spoke with the victim's mother who lost one of four sons last night. While police are still investigating, she believes other teens are to blame. There are bullet holes in exterior masonry and window panes. One bullet even struck this TV. But property damage is one thing. A shooting at this Baytown apartment complex last night also took a life. I couldn't say nothing to him. He was already gone. Yosha Hamilton identifies the victim as her 16-year-old son, Shane, who she says collapsed just outside the family's unit. He tried to come in home. He tried to get in the house to come home. To get to you, you think? Maybe so. This is video from last night after Baytown police began their investigation. I'm told officers attempted life-saving measures, but Hamilton died on the scene. You can see by these evidence markers that at least nine rounds may have been fired, possibly from a car. That was intentional. It was definitely intentional. Goose Creek CISD confirms Hamilton was a student at Robert E. Lee High School, where he also played football. His mother believes a beef with students from a rival school has something to do with the shooting. She and his stepfather say it happened hours after Shane went to a basketball game. At least uh, I get the chance to speak to him before this happened. You know, I speak to him earlier when he came in from school and he you know, he hugged his little baby brother. His mother plans to remember Shane other than the way his young life ended, especially when she looks at this existing tattoo. When you look at that, what will it mean now? He always with me. Always. And the family believes they know some of the young people who may be involved in all of this. But right now, Baytown police are not uh, saying anything about potential suspects. But the police chief put out a statement this afternoon saying his detectives have been working nonstop on this since last night. Reporting live from Baytown, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Lynn.